What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally getting into Halloween decor hunting part two. This is all the footage of all of my Halloween shopping from late August all through September up until now. I'll be showing you guys my journey through at home, Target, Spirit Halloween, Big Lots, Dollar Tree, and some extra special places at the end. I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I captured so let's just jump right into it. So Big Lots was our first stop. And when we walked in, I was surprised at how much they actually had because for the past couple of years, it wasn't much. I really fell in love with this gorgeous LED orange and purple tree. It was so beautiful and so unique. I began with the first aisle, which they really were on theme this year. And they were kind of going for like a haunted mansion, spooky mansion vibe. I really did like this Ouija pillow as well as this labeled skull, as well as that happy Halloween sign. I just really loved the font on that. Cute little witch broom was a nice touch. They still have that light up haunted house that I showed you guys in my haul a couple of years ago and it's total Adam's Family vibes. They have this really cool animated doorknob as well as a bunch of candles. They also had these spooky trees that were really different this year that had a king cobra snake in them. thought that was really different. I noticed that snakes were kind of big this year as I'll show you later but they seem to be a running theme in a lot of stores this year as well as what I'm about to show you which is the creepy cute kind of theme that's just it's everywhere it is literally everywhere that is the theme of the year at Big Lots they kind of stuck to an orange black and white theme which of course I really appreciated but even though I loved the color scheme it was just a little too creepy cute for me so I didn't really pick anything up from this aisle even though I did appreciate everything they had a lot of lights this year now Big Lots is really starting to remind me of Target. They've kind of been stepping up their quality of items. Along with that comes higher prices, of course, but they do have really nice lights this year. I really liked these singing jack-o'-lantern lights. They had a lot of inflatables. I know everybody loves those. Spider icicle lights, which... Oh man, I'm thinking I should go back and pick up some of those before they're completely sold out because we do use spider lights in our house and I'm just like always worried they're gonna go out and I can't replace them. <laughs> so I really should go back and get those like hindsight of 2020. They also had some really nice earrings and some cute Disney clothes for anyone who's a big Disney fan. Before we left, we just checked out some of the more fall and Thanksgiving kind of items. They had some really nice stuff this year, but there's just too much blue. Way too much blue going on for me. In what realm does blue go with fall? I don't, I don't know, man. I just don't know. <laughs> and then as we headed out, we checked out their little end cap, which is kind of like Big Lots' version of their little Target dollar spot. They had some really nice tin candles. They had some really cool hand soaps. They had some really nice items for a tiered tray. It was really nice. I'm glad that they started to do this. Big Lots has really taken a lot of inspiration from Target, and I appreciate that. We headed over to the Dollar Tree since it was next door. Although they did have some things, this place was kind of ransacked. I'm just going to be completely completely honest with you. It was really chaotic in there for me and I just, I wasn't finding anything that I was looking for, nothing that really stood out to me that I haven't already bought previous years. They did have some cute stuff and I really liked for some reason this old school, very 90s orange plastic skeleton that you just hang. They had some Halloween fabrics, which was kind of new. I've never noticed that at Dollar Tree before. Lots of arts and crafts stuff, some cool florals. I really liked that they had these candy corn picks. That was awesome. So like if you don't want to go to Michael's, you can get some picks at Dollar Tree now. They also had this rope, which can really be a nice decor piece for Halloween, depending on your theme. But yeah, Dollar Tree did not have much my dudes. Not much for me. I really like these wine glasses though. Feeling pumped. So the next day, my husband and I finally headed to At Home. It was the place that I was looking forward to going the most because I knew that they had some really awesome stuff this year. So let me show you guys around. Everything was separated by theme, which I really liked. And the first display here was just very classic Halloween. I really liked this pumpkin that had the metal bats on it. This light up jack-o'-lantern was really cool and it was speaking to me because I just love that classic spooky jack-o'-lantern face. It's just, uh, it's my vibe all day. And this pumpkin with the skeletons popping out was really different. I really liked this reversible tiered tray little sign that says boo on one side and eek on the other. Of course, I love the color scheme. And then in the aisle next to me was a very extravagant ghoulish garden themed area. They had so much. They were so dedicated to this witch's garden vibe. Like that's another big theme this year is like ghoulish garden and at home went all out you guys now look at all this stuff They had mossy pumpkins. I really liked this sign that said who needs Halloween. I'm a witch all year Ugh, Love it. Lots of apothecary signs these little roses with eyeballs 
I really liked these glass pumpkins. There are a lot of snake items at at home and this candle with the snake wrapped around the cauldron just gave me such Harry Potter vibes. If you know, you know, like if you are in Slytherin house, IRL, <laughs> dude, go to at home because you're gonna be able to just decorate your lair with everything that suits your house, okay? <laughs> you can create your own Slytherin common room with everything that they had going on at at home this year. I'm serious. Very Death Eater Slytherin vibes. Like, could you get any more Slytherin than this? No. You can't. Slytherins unite and go to at home. <laughs> Lots of witch hats, which remind me of the Harry Potter sorting hat. Yeah, like a lot of this gave me total Harry Potter vibes and I'm not mad about it at all. And rats, that was a different kind of thing I saw a lot this year too, was rats on everything. I really like this little witchy display that they put together in the middle though. It was, that was nice. That was a nice touch. And they had these really cool skeleton gnomes. Like I'm not a gnome person, but these were really cool this year. Then. I saw another one of my favorite pieces, which was this light up witch's cauldron. Like what? Look at that glowing green hue. At home put out a new version of Venus fly traps that I've never seen before and they were kind of felt like and that was really different. I really liked these carrots in the pot this year. This is the most unique item I've seen in a very long time. And for some reason it was giving me, again, Harry Potter vibes with the mandrakes in the pot. It's a little carrot family in a pot and I mean, could you get any more unique but also cuter than that? No. No, you can't. I really liked this black branchy pumpkin because it really reminded my husband and I of the John Varvatos Dark Rebel fragrance bottle and it's one of our favorite scents of all time. I also wish we would have got a couple of these just because we love that look so much. This little skeleton driving a pickup truck is just such Halloween Town vibes. And then we moved on to the next display, which is more of my kind of style, which is the spooky black and white. I fell immediately in love with the skull planter because there's just so many ways you could use it. I really liked their spider platter this year. I really liked the matching bowl that went with it too. It's just, oh, it was all so nice. That giant skull head was ridiculous in a good way. <laughs> Literally everything you could ever want for any theme was at at home this year and I was just mind blown. Oh my god. This is one of my favorite things that I've seen at home in a long time which is this skull coming out of a pumpkin because it is very very Halloween 2 to me and you guys know that's my favorite movie of all time. And then I really appreciated these gorgeous intricate dolls that they had. There's just so much detail. So much detail. Look at that. This scarecrow was really awesome. Lots of pillows as always. Welcome to our haunted house. Here's the haunted house ticket pillow that we got a previous year. Lots of harvest and farmhouse stuff, which is always really nice. It's my mom's favorite theme to decorate with. Always very vibey. Some candy corn pillows. I fell in love with this owl pillow, you guys. Now, everybody has certain things that they love about Halloween, like certain characters, and my things are classic jack-o'-lanterns and also owls and a full moon and spooky trees. So those four combinations right there. It's got the owls and the spooky trees. It's got the full moon and it's like the perfect shade of orange. I just, I'm, oh. Love this pillow. And they had this other section, which was like a cemetery kind of a vibe where they had a lot of outdoor graves and a lot of skeleton characters. I really like that at home gives decor ideas with their displays so people know maybe what to do with the items when they get home. Now this huge Grim Reaper dude, he was awesome. If I can find the clip that I have that still has the audio, I kid you not, he squeaks, okay? At least the one in the store did. He had this squeak. It literally sounded like opening sound effect to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> My husband and I both at the same time were like, wait, is he making that sound? And that sounds exactly like <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then their next display was really cool. It kind of gave me like spooky circus kind of a vibes. I really loved these stacked pumpkins with the checkered pattern and the stripes and the polka dots. Very spooky circus. Hint, hint. And then the circusy vibe quickly turned into the spooky cute yet again. I mean, obviously look at that. It says too cute to spook. It, it speaks for itself. And then once we were done with all the displays, we went over to the inflatables, which were crazy this year, dude. And then they had this floor to ceiling stack of jack-o'-lanterns. It was crazy. We did come across this really spooky foggy canvas that we really liked. And then as we were walking to check out, we found all of these extra Halloween animated items, which are really nice. I like this old radio, the phone, these books. Look how cool that is. Look how cool that is. 
I really should have got that. Why didn't I get that? <laughs> Maybe these jack lantern placemats, some spatulas. They had that same eyeball that they were selling at Target. I guess this brand Spooky Moods is being sold at both at home and Big Lots. And they had these really cool mad scientist cocktail sets. Appreciated that. I really like these raving skeletons and this little peekaboo mummy. These are all so perfect for kids. Oh, as we were checking out, I noticed all of these really cool soaps that they had. I really like the sparkly pumpkin the most. And then we finally headed out of at home with our little haul of the day. Next, we hit up two different Spirit Halloweens in two days. And of course, you're never going to be disappointed at Spirit Halloween because literally everything is Halloween. So you're always going to find something. Having said that, this first location that we chose, dudes, this Spirit Halloween was tiny. Like literally the smallest Spirit Halloween I've ever been to in my entire Halloween shopping life because we weren't there for costumes. I just wanted to look at home decor and you guys look at this tiny decor corner. Look at it. <laughs> it was so small. They didn't have very much, but I will show you what they did have. I really like this Hocus Pocus silhouette as well as the Sanderson Sisters museum sign. They had a lot of haunted mansion items, a lot of Beetlejuice. These mugs were really awesome though. I lightweight wanted one because I mean, just look at it. It's, it's a work of art. So they had the basics for every theme. So after we perused the very small decor corner. We moved on to just looking at some of the costumes and some of the clothing and accessories and we did find some stuff we really liked. There was a lot of Halloween and Michael Myers merch which you guys know I'm always excited about. A lot of trick-or-treat merch. I've wanted this shirt for like two or three years in a row now. This trick-or-treat shirt. Oh I just love it. And then there's this light up lollipop that my husband had used for his costume last year. He was Sam for Halloween last year and it was really fun. I really liked these trick-or-treat necklaces and lollipop ears. Earrings. They even had one of the vintage masks from the movie, and of course, I loved it all. Tons of cups and mugs, as always. <laughs> There's always oh that Sailor Moon mug. I, why am I just now seeing that? Oh, but no, this dude's this Nightmare Before Christmas mug was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. Zero actually spins, and it's just so elaborate and beautiful. Well, you guys gotta check it out. But yeah, Mug Central over here. I think the only goal of the Spirit Halloween was just to sell mugs, to be honest. And they had notebooks, bobbleheads, all the basics, like just little things, little merch items. They did not have any yard decor, no big home decor, just really basic stuff. I really do like their spooky jewelry though, not gonna lie. Oh, those vampire earrings, shut up. We were pretty much finished at that point. That is how small this location was. I just, uh, I was so disappointed. <laughs> I mean, we had a good time together, but it was just very disappointing that I went for decor and I did not see decor. I smell decor, but I do not see decor. <laughs> We had a nice drive home though because there was a full moon that night. As you guys will see again later when I show you our trip to Michael's, which is coming up very soon. But the next day we went to the second Spirit Halloween, which was huge. It was way bigger. We had all the animatronics, all the decor, and I'm gonna show it all to you guys. So there's tons of various sizes and versions of Sam from Trick or Treat, which I loved. You can't get enough Sam in your life, to be honest. Trick or Treat is just the best Halloween movie ever made. Don't fight me. As always, I love this Michael Myers Have a Knife Day napkin, Hocus Pocus napkin, and I believe the one on the right is Killer Clowns from Outer Space, if I'm not mistaken. Lots of blankets. I love that sign, that Halloween life. Lots of blankets. Really did love the Halloween 2 one, though. It was such a mood. So many pillows. I really love the Chucky pillows, and I've always wanted an original, an OG original looking good guy doll. Always wanted one. I have a Tiffany, but I don't have an OG original good guy doll, and that, that's just one of my goals in life. I really love this light up Michael Myers bust. Oh, all the trick or treat statues were cool. I was really surprised to see how much killer clown stuff is out now. It's amazing. I mean, I just love to see it because that movie is such a vibe. Yeah, they had some really cool doormats. Nothing that totally stood out to me though, except for this Halloween one. Oh, love it. Of course, I love me the Camp Crystal Lake one. Every day is Halloween. I know a friend that would want that doormat. <laughs> I mean, you can just get literally whatever you want at Spirit Halloween when you go to a location like this. They have everything. I will say though that this sign bothered me at first until I realized that that's the UK spelling of Boogeyman, but like, come on now, let's be real. Michael Myers and Halloween lore 
Boogeyman's always been spelled with two O's, and it just looks like Bogeyman to me, and it doesn't sound doesn't sound right. Having said that, this Halloween countdown was cool. Lots of doggy costumes, lots of pajama sets. Which, why did I not pick up a pajama set? This Michael Myers window cling was everything. Man, we should have got that for our car. Every time I see something, man, I always want to go back and get it. I loved the Miss Argentina merch this year because I was her for Halloween a few years ago. My husband was Beetlejuice. It was one of our favorite couples costumes ever. And I don't know, I just, I love her and I identify with her now. And every time I see her on anything, on any kind of merch, anywhere, I just, uh, I don't know, just speaks to my soul. Speaking of couples costumes, we do have a video coming up about that very soon. If you guys want to stay tuned for that, lots of Haunted Mansion stuff again. I mean, even more than the last one, which is awesome. I still have yet to fully watch that movie, but I'm going to give it another go. Lots of Wicca and tarot themed stuff this year. I loved this pentagram wreath and it actually kind of reminded me a bit of the Blair Witch, which that's a whole thing. You know what? Justice for Blair Witch and Blair Witch 2. I have another video coming up about that as well. Justice for Blair Witch, man. Seriously, there's not enough merch for these movies. Part 2 is seriously underappreciated and we're going to talk about it. We are going to talk about it. <laughs> Wikipedia. Clever. The moon sign, the tarot reading sign. Everything is just so detailed at Spirit Halloween. I just, oh, I love everything. I love these beautiful medieval skull statues, all the Ouija themed stuff, the little Ouija pillows. I mean, they have everything, you guys, literally everything. The romantic gothic decor, which I really love, the gothic mirror at the bottom. I've been wanting that for years. I don't know why I don't just finally pick that up. <laughs> Dead inside, you got that right. I was in love with this chalice and I did have it in my hand for a good 20 minutes, like trying to debate whether or not I was gonna get it. And you guys, look at these wine tumblers and travel cups. You know I was living for the Halloween 2 versions, bro. And then we got into enjoying the animatronics. I didn't include the sound just because, I mean, you just never know what's copyrighted anymore. So so this guy was really awesome. It was really fun walking into this hallway. It was like a little mini haunted house experience. I love when they do stuff like this. Oh, it was so cool. Dude, and this exorcist animatronic was next level. She would have been the scariest thing we've ever bought in life. I don't know. I think it would creep me out too much to be honest. It would really creep me out. I don't know if I could have that in my house. And then tons of black light stuff, tons of fog machine stuff, tons of strobe lights. Love to see it because this is a lot of stuff that we use ourselves for our lighting and special effects, especially outside for Halloween, which is something I've never shown you guys. And I hope to do that either this year and if not this year, next year for sure. These pumpkin string lights were awesome with the spooky faces. You rarely ever see a set of jack-o'-lantern lights with a spooky jack-o'-lantern face. I really like this skeleton octopus and the skeleton sea creature. A whole wall of mugs, you guys. They have the other one beat. Even though the other one was mug goals, I mean, they had that store beat. Look at these trick-or-treat mugs. So awesome. So if you're gonna go to Spirit Halloween, try to seek out a store that's larger because a smaller store, you're just not gonna get as much variety. So try to seek out a store near you that might be at a slightly larger location. I fell immediately in love with this black and orange Halloween 2 mug. And then I headed over to the other wall where they had like literally endless Hocus Pocus items. A lot of the same stuff that they had at the previous store and then some even more signs i love the black flame candle and the moon lights up which was really cool dost thou comprehend i really like this map of salem this bink statue was cute and i really really loved this Hocus Pocus Cemetery Gate, kind of silhouette. Oh, that was so different. Then we saw some more animatronics as we were leaving. They were all just very elaborate. And I just, I love going to these big spirit Halloweens. You just kind of feel like you're getting a little mini haunted house experience. And you guys know I love me some haunted houses. So I cannot believe they had a Killer Clowns from Outer Space animatronic this year. And it sounded just like it. It blew my mind and I was, I was cracking up. It was so awesome. And then after we had our fill of the animatronics, we were out the door with a little mini haul. So next up, I'm gonna show you guys the Target that we checked out a few days later. And uh, that's how I'm gonna start this off with just, uh. <laughs> so the first Target, they did have some stuff in their dollar spot, which I believe is called Bullseye now. They didn't have a lot. And I'm thinking that maybe they weren't done putting everything out or things were already bought up. I couldn't tell. And then they even had some witchy apothecary items. My favorite thing were these little signs, which would be perfect for a tiered tray. Why didn't I get these? 
I keep saying that. Why did I not get these? As I was making my way to the seasonal section to look at all the Halloween stuff, I found this little end cap that had some Threshold brand items, which were very Morticia Adams. They had two really cool gothic wreaths and these matte black skull planters. And after checking out this end cap, I went over to the seasonal section and my heart sank. I mean, do you see how empty this is? It's just nothing but Halloween candy, you guys. This happens near me every year, but I have never seen it so empty this late. Like normally everything's out by now, but it's still empty, still empty. They did have some really cool candy items out, but that is not what we came for. We did not come for Halloween candy. We came for Halloween decor hunting and all we got was Halloween candy. Target was like trick or treat, bitch. <laughs> We're gonna trick you into thinking we have decor, but here's some treats. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Like this trick or treat pumpkin here is like the lone item I found, which was so disappointing. But I'm still glad that I did go through the aisles because I did stumble across this scary pack for Cards Against Humanity. We are big Cards Against Humanity players over here. We just had to have it. But yeah, very empty. Very, very empty. So I made my way over to check out some of the fall stuff just to see what they had. They had that minimalist beige vibe going on over here that's very popular right now. They did have some really nice candles this year. And then before we left, I at least wanted to pick up some acorn spice spray and they didn't even have that. They had the dish soap, which is always nice, but uh, no acorn spice spray, man, come on. So yeah, that was the first target and I was so disappointed. <laughs> so disappointed but i mean we still had a nice time together with our pumpkin spice lattes what can i say so next we went to michael's and even though it was kind of ransacked and some things are still packed up they did have a lot of stuff so i'm going to quickly tell you guys some of the things that i did really like i really like their picks and sticks this year especially this elaborate candy corn one i really fell in love with their art deco inspired collection this year even though i loved it it's not something i could actually use though because there's just so much pink they use so many pink and floral accents in the art deco theme that it's not really something that will go with my own decor, but I really appreciated it so much. It was all so beautiful. A little party never killed nobody. I really loved this lady sitting on the moon drinking some kind of blood-inspired cocktail. I mean, she's just so gorgeous and just so very 1920s a little party never kill nobody kind of gal. <laughs> I loved it and I also really loved the steampunk kind of collection as well as all the Edgar Allan Poe items. Those are all beautiful and very unique for Michaels. But when I came in here, I was on the hunt for one item and one item only and they didn't have it. It was a sign that I saw somewhere online that said, let's misbehave. And it had this beautiful art deco font and it was nowhere to be found. If you guys know where I can get one of those, please let me know. There are also even more apothecary type items in this year's collections. I really love the Raven book with the Raven popping out of it. That is so unique. But since there's so much here, I just want to say that I, I really love everything. And Michaels did a great job. It's just, they had items out that I couldn't quite use with my decor, other than that one sign that I could not find. But I really appreciated the pink neon vibes going on there. You know what, honestly, most of this collection reminds me of like spooky Valentine's Day, which hindsight is 2020. If I would have thought of that at the time, I would have picked up a couple of things for our Valentine's Day decor next year because you guys, if you haven't seen my Valentine's Day decorating video, I love me some dark, romantic, spooky Valentine's Day action. Yeah, but this is Michael's. Like I said, they were still putting stuff out and things were kind of disorganized, but you can kind of get a feel for their collections this year. Romantic, goth, art deco, apothecary, Edgar Allan Poe. And then they had the classic Halloween aisle, which was also very creepy cute inspired if it's your thing i mean michael's is the place to go right now as well as at home because they just have everything there's that blue again i just want to know why someone please explain it to me i mean it's one of my favorite colors but i just don't associate turquoise with halloween somehow it's there i really like this whatever spices your pumpkin sign and as well as these teardry beads i mean they had so many versatile items this year and even this little ghost cup looks like valentine's day to me because his mouth looks like a little heart I loved this matte black spooky tree. Ugh. There was just so much I really liked in Michaels. Really did have a good time looking around. And what is Dane doing back there? <laughs> oh, I love him so much. I mean, we got a couple of things at Michaels, but it was not as much as previous years. We really did enjoy looking around together. And when we left, there was a beautiful full moon outside. We did really have a nice time. 
Well, that was it for Halloween decor hunting part two. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining or helpful in some way. If there's anything you saw in this video that you liked or that you even picked up for yourself or you plan on going to get, please let me know in the comments below. I would really love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my haul video very, very soon. Stay spooky.